so the frets are ready to be trimmed and filed back. So nice meaty pair of cutters. And it's just a case of just snipping off, not right up to the edge of the neck, but leaving enough so that you're not chewing into the side of the neck. So finishing touches on the bevel, just making sure that's all nice and smooth, no nasty overhangs. Now I'm leaving them quite square, I'm not rounding them over yet because we're going to pleck it, so we're still going to be taking a little bit of material off the top, and then uh, I'll round them off as the, like, the final part. So the next job is to get the nuts in. Lovely, so that's all good to go. I'll just take a small amount off the top and the plaque will do the rest. The plaque will actually cut the slots and also profile the top of the nut. So all we have to do is basically just polish it up afterwards. So that's the nut all nice fit. So I'll just take off the excess and just mark that using half a pencil on the top of the frets. And I'll just give that about another millimetre on top of that and then I'll let the plaque do the rest. So now the, the plaque has finished with the fret profiling and the nut cutting. The plaque has cut the top and the slots. So all we need to do is just reprofile the sides. That's what I'm doing here, just filing that back flush with the edge so it feels all nice and smooth. I'll just round the edges over as I go and I'll give that all a polish up. And then we'll move on to rounding the bevels over on the frets. Right, so polished up the nut and that's all nice. I've stained the nut, uh, hence why I have also masked it off just to protect it for once we get into the buffing of the neck. Don't want to get anything, any nasty polishing compound in the nut because it's bone, it's quite susceptible to picking up any dirt or anything. Uh, so just all I need to do is just round the ends over just to take off any burrs there and once we've finished with that, we'll just run over it with a few, through a few grades of wet dry, polish it up, and then we are all done. So it's literally a case of just rolling the file over the edges just to take off that sharpness.
All right, so then we're going to buff the frets and just a bit of polishing compound and basically just gives this, takes off any of the very tiny marks left over by the 2000 grit wet and dry paper and just gives it a really nice polish and shine, make them feel really nice and smooth. So I'll just top that up a bit. And away. off just cleaned it all off with a bit of uh, with a bit of degreaser and now just just put a bit of lemon oil on the board I'll just let that soak in for a few seconds before wiping it off <coughs> spring color back to the board And all sorted. So, string her up. So, guitar's all done. We have, we've removed the old frets, we've reprofiled the fingerboard using the Plex fingerboard planing software and we've put a seven and a half to nine and a half inch compound radius uh, main reason for that was to just improve playability up the top end uh, customers get receiving getting a lot of choking out up the top end so we've flattened that out a bit and obviously not having to take it out of the frets because we've done it on the board itself refretted with stumac 154 fret wire all polished up and lovely nice smooth ends and a new bone nut just finished it all off and we've just given it a little bit of a stain just to give it that vintage vibe and then just yeah just giving it a setup tweaked the action brought the action down a little bit a bit more balanced out tweaked the intonation and pickup heights and she's all good to go